It's the first time in UWM history. Actually, there are two firsts wrapped up in one event. It happened Saturday night as the UWM women's soccer team hosted an NCAA tournament game for the first time ever. The 15th ranked Panthers beat Illinois State 3 to nothing. The victory is the Panthers NCAA tournament win. The team made it to the tournament eight times but until now has never recorded a victory. With the win, the 19-2 Panthers avenged a regular season loss to Illinois State. A game this big and a team this good gets noticed, not just by sports fans, but by others too. Reporter Asa Kwame joins us live with the reaction. Asa? If you know anything about women's soccer, you know that the team has had some big stars over the past four years. The stars came out on Saturday, both on the field and in the stands. The biggest rock stars on campus <laughs> don't play music. They play soccer. And everyone, it seems, is here to see them. You run it right away, man. I want to see you run. Including the chancellor. And the men's basketball team. It's that kind of historic game. The first NCAA tournament game at Engelman Stadium in UWM history. No one would miss it. Not even the guy with the flag. Junior Al Hall loves soccer. And when this cheerleader found a UWM flag, it was a match made in heaven. I found it down in our locker room and uh, my coach said I could have it, so I just brought the soccer games. Uh, we started scoring, so I just started running. And run he does, three times in this victory. Come on, Hagen! With Al around, scoring a goal means more than just putting points on the scoreboard. It's a chance for him to shine. I love soccer. Uh, I was born in England, and I was raised in Manchester, so soccer's a bit, soccer is a big deal. Ole! Ole! Athletic director Rick, like he likes it, so I keep doing it. And the, and the girls love it. I get I get good support from the girls doing it, so if they're happy. I'm happy. Everybody's happy tonight. The victory is big for the girls and UWM as well. This is so exciting. This, we've been waiting for four years for this, so we finally got one. Anything we do to build a better sense of community and pride in our campus, it's, it's very important. As you know, we're, we're changing a lot of the campus to be more traditional, and things like this really help us in making that effort. For us to get this win, really, um, you know, put our program into the next level. Um, going to wherever we're playing next weekend in the second round is going to be huge. I'm mean, sure it's going to be even, you know, our next biggest game. But really, this game was, you know, our biggest game in our program's history, and um, for me as a player. The Panthers now head to Durham, North Carolina, for the second round. They'll play Ohio State on Friday at Duke University.